All right. Another eBay find. And yes, it does work. Uh, <laughs> got this thing for 50 bucks. Goodwill in um, Seattle had it. And this is going for my future antenna projects or an next directional antenna when we get set up in Arizona. But I couldn't turn this deal down. 50 bucks with, what, $19 shipping. So almost $60. I mean, $70, rather, excuse me, for this thing. So, um, let me pause the video, and we'll open this up, and I'll show you uh, what I got. It is used, but it don't look like it. Uh, somebody took pretty good care of it, and uh, like I said, just ran across it on uh, an eBay find. All right, let's open the box. And I'll have to say that I give the, the the eBay store in Seattle, Washington a lot of credit. They box this thing very well. Tons of bubble wrap and uh, and all. So there's my controller. See somebody stuck stickers on it. These should be south. This should be east. <laughs> north and that's west. So, But oh well. It is what it is. But yeah, it does work. And like a lot of these old TV antenna rotors, if you ever fooled with them, it's where your rotor wire hooks up. And it's labeled the same way on the um, the rotor itself, one through five. All right, there is the rotor. And look, it came with <laughs> control cable. How about that? The rotor, the rotor itself, where it hooks onto the pole, it takes about a one inch mass. You got, um, what else we got in here? You got these U bolts that go here. Yeah, fall. And down here when you put your mask through so you can adjust the mask. Rotor cable goes through here. And I'll open this up right here and show you where it hooks into here. Basically what you do, just put your, I just took a little screwdriver and just raise that up. But see how clean this thing is on the inside? And there it's numbered to correspond in with a control box. Your wire goes through here, through this loop. And then you hook them up there. And you plug your control box in and voila. So I'm really looking forward to it. Man, this thing uh, is very, very clean. So what I'm going to do when I get it set up, I'm going to try to seal this a little bit. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. But um, I thought about painting the rotor itself black. Help it from uh, oxidizing. But the darn thing on the clamps that go to the posts still got two of the little rubber nipples covering the threads. Wish it had all of them, but nevertheless. So I guess you want to see it turn. So let me hook the wire up and plug it in and show you that it does work. Okay, we got her hooked up. There's the wires hooked onto the control box. And the wires on the rotor. And the reason I know, I hope, I, I got it right. Both of these on the same strand have this little piece right here. So I've done that and I just flattened it out. And go well, one through five right there. Okay. Same way over here. There's that little piece it's like shrink tubing or something on that. It goes from one through five right there. So let's plug in the box and uh, make sure this thing still works. There she goes. She's a turning. So that should be east. 
they say on the instructions, this right here, <clears throat> when you, you um, let's go back. This is where you line your antenna up with this right here. So this should be south. Somewhere right in there when it gets there. All right, well, anyway, that's where you, you line your antenna up with this right here. So this is either going to be north, depending on how you turn your pole, or south. I'm, me, I'm going to put it as south so I get a full, full range here. So this would be south, west, east, and that's north right there. The only thing I don't like about this one compared to like the Radio Shack brand, you can actually see the dial move. You got one here and you see the little arrow come around. So you know exactly where your um, your antenna is and this one doesn't do it, but that's okay. She works. It does have metal gears according to the um, the box showing pictures on the inside. It does have metal gears and it has somewhat of a break on it. But, you know, it is a lightweight rotor. It isn't made to turn like a Moonraker 4 or a Shooting Star or some of them big beams. Some lightweight like Serio 27-4. It should turn out with no problem. The Joe Gun uh, Skipjack, the uh, two-element V-shape. Uh, of course, it'll, it'll turn the V-quad in M103 with no problem. Even the Y-quad Mako, but I don't want a Y-quad y quad because i don't want vertical and horizontal unless i go something like the v quad and that way I have one piece of coax i'm gonna keep it very simple so we got a lot of options as far as antennas even a homemade uh three or four element i think we can get by with that but uh never know what you're gonna find on ebay got lucky ran across this uh, little lightweight rotor for a good price won the auction and uh, hats off to the uh, Seattle um, Goodwill store. They did a great job on packaging and shipped it in a very timely manner, too. All right, guys, thanks for watching. 73, good DX. Catch you on the air later.